Hey y'all, welcome back. It's Coo Pawn with All Sunday. All right, y'all. So went to Dollar General. Guess it's gonna be a Dollar General kind of week. But anyway, went to Dollar General, and as you can see, we got a good bit of stuff here. Um, I'm just gonna let y'all know straight up. After after uh tax and everything, this was five dollars and eleven cents for everything you see here. And uh, got some free items. Got some overage. Got some stuff that don't even have coupons. But either way, uh, I'm going to break it down and tell you what two transactions I did. And if you got uh, these certain coupons or whatever, feel free to use them. And let's get started. Oh yeah, I'm going to do something I hadn't done in a while. Our Sunday word of the day. Alright. That means alright. Or, you know, let's get started. Or, you know, next step. Next step. This thing, let's do this thing anyway so um as you can see i got these three coca-cola products right here sprite coca-cola and fanta orange um all three of these qualify for the uh three for ten um this week but we also have that two dollar off coupon that we can use which i'm just gonna post right here it's a two dollar off digital coupon um when you get the coca-cola products but it has to be the 12 packs okay does follow the instructions on the coupon, scan items if you're not sure if they work. These are the only three that we had at, um, at my store. Some stores may have different uh, flavors and stuff, especially when it comes to Fanta. So just like I said, scan to make sure. But like I said, these three you see here work. So anyway, these are three for 10. I have that $2 off digital coupon. The Snuggle, uh, as you can see, is the Snuggle Renews It. It has one oil and one warmer. I use this $3 off coupon it says any renews the snuggle oil refill or oil diffuser. I also use that Walmart. At Walmart they're two ninety seven for the same exact one, so it's three cents overage. So you're paying taxes. And then on this one, you're only paying taxes, of course. But it's a three dollar off coupon, and these are three dollars at these stores. Some stores they may be three twenty five, but most stores are still three dollars. But anyway, so it makes it free. And then as you can see, these items here, which are the Dental Life Active Fresh. I think I'm going to go ahead and do a, a, a live tomorrow, y'all, around 7 p.m. Central Time. I'm going to try to do it around that time. If not 7 p.m., maybe 8 p.m., because I'll, I'll wait for Mr. All Sunday to get home. Are you? Wait a minute. Are you um, coming home around 7? Or... Okay, yeah. He, he said he'll be home before 7. Okay, so anyway. Uh, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and do a live, and I'll explain uh, something that I was supposed to explain to y'all when I first did a live, but I was too tired. And, was, you know. But anyway. As y'all can see, we got the Dental Life Active Fresh uh, Dog Treat Slash Dog uh, Dental Sticks. They call them dog chews. Either way, uh, as you can see, these say large, which you'll see these um, either in the dollar aisle or on the pet aisle. But they'll be the stand up in like a little slot or some of them they'll have them laying down. Either way, these are a dollar each. I got four of them. Because this coupon I used had a limit of four. And it said, it said, save $2 on one package of Dental Life dog chews or treats, any size, any variety. So we got to choose. And um, even though they're a dollar, it doesn't say that it excludes any size. It says any size, any variety. And so we'll get overage on our products. And we, like I said, it's limit four. So I'm able to get overage four times. So I'm getting an extra dollar to use on something else. Since this was free, I'm getting a dollar off of here. So... I'm going to get to that. But either way, you can do this. There's nothing wrong with doing this because the company is still going to re refund the store because you did get a dinner life um, item and they're still going to get their $2 off. They start with $2 back each time this coupon is used. So everybody still wins. <laughs> so anyway, um, so all right. So as you can see, this was $10. That was three. That's 13. That was, these four made $17. Of course, when you uh, when they're ringing them up, they're gonna be like five twenty five or whatever for the cokes. But after they push total, the store discount is gonna show up, and then your two dollar off coupon is gonna come off and all that as well. But just look at it as three for ten. So anybody can calculate all that. So <laughs> three for ten minus a two dollar coupon made it eight. There's three dollars still was three dollars. I mean, I'm sorry, three dollars came off because that coupon made it free. And these got an overage of uh, one dollars each, so it makes it four. So with the way you look at it, that's eight. Minus four is four dollars. Let me show you the um, receipt. All right, so here's the receipt. As you can see, sub total is four dollars. I got the Sprite, the Renews It, the Coat, the Fanta, one, two, three, and four of the Dental Life. As you can see, they were a dollar, but their two dollar off coupons came off. Uh, the let's see, 
renews it. That MFG is that manufacturer coupon. It's three dollars, and three dollars came off. And then the Sprite. You see the store discounts on that one. The Coke store discounts on that one. The Fanta store discounts on that one. And then you'll see manufacturer coupon, which is the two dollars off of the uh, three. Right. Let me make sure I point to the right one. Get on off that one. Oh, it is no, it combines store discount. Never mind, I'm sorry. Once the store, once the DG uh, store coupon is gonna come off a store discount. So, what they did was they just put it together with these. My bad, y'all. Yeah, so all these two dollar coupons are the manufacturer coupons one, two, three, and four is the dental life coupon. Okay, so anyway, this was $17 worth of stuff after after store discounts and everything. $17 worth of stuff, and it dropped all the way down to $4, so I saved $13. But the way it's set up, it's gonna be like I say, eighteen seventy-five. Because like I said, it's gonna have those three at five twenty-five each. But anyway, that's the first transaction. I'm sorry I took that long to explain that one. I'm going to the next one. All right. Okay. So second transaction, aka second scenario. Uh. So in this scenario, as you can see, we got some a little different. We got two things a little different. We got the Texas Peak hot sauce, and we got the Diet Dr Pepper uh, and cream soda. Oh, it is not. I thought it was Dr. Pepper and Cream Soda. <laughs> so you like that one too? Okay, well either way, Mitchell Sunday likes both. Uh, so uh, these are a dollar each and they were also, they're still pretty cold still because they have in the refrigerator. So he's going to drink one when we eat uh, and eat a few. And then he said he's going to have another one for lunch tomorrow. Either way. Uh, so as you can see, we got two, four, six, eight, nine items with this bad boy here. We got some of the same thing, which is the snow renews it. As you know, we used a $3 off coupon with that. Which y'all Sunday did a scenario too, y'all. And then uh, I got the four in the sticks again. So I used a $2 off coupon. So as you know, over four times again. So that's $4 extra I can use on anything else. So that's them two are free because as you can look at it, it's having overage on these two. So those are free. The snuggles free. And then I got these two and I got these two, right? Which makes them free because they're a dollar each. This is the five ounce Texas Pete. I mean, sorry, six ounce Texas Pete. But we also have this coupon that says save 55 cents on any two Texas Pete products, five ounce or larger. So I gotta get two of them and save 55 cents on them. So it's, it's like I get two of them for $1.45 or like what, 72 cents each. So, which is cool. But like I said, still got that overage. So $1.45 and I got this overage and I got tax on all the items I got. So I end up with 55 cents as my subtotal plus tax which I don't see how that worked out but anyway oh uh, <laughs> not playing so I'm added up this one two well, let me make sure that they are a dollar yeah so one two three four four dollars plus three is seven then eight nine ten eleven dollars right eleven dollars minus the three dollar off coupon makes it eight dollars minus two four six eight makes it uh yeah right yeah two four six eight makes it zero dollars and then okay now i know why i confused myself on i had it right if i did a video i'm sorry y'all anyway this was negative 55 plus six See that minus behind the 55 cents? I was like, why am I getting confused? And then as you can see, I got tax one for items that's not food, and I got tax two for items that are food. So after my taxes, I still had to pay 20 cents out of pocket. So I gave her two dimes, that's my cash, and then I saved $11.55. I will try my best to, uh, I can't do it written on this, y'all. I was, I was gonna have to look at the receipt, to be honest with you, because it is a little confusing, and it will take forever to upload all that. I'm gonna, have to get, I'm gonna have to get good with them Google Docs and stuff. <laughs> but anyway, look at it as eleven dollars worth of stuff, right? I'll do this one more time. Eleven dollars worth of stuff. Eleven minus the three dollar snuggle coupon off a three dollar item. Anyway, eleven minus three is eight, right? And then I use four of these because it's a limit of four. Two, four, six, eight. So eight minus eight is zero, right? And then I still had this coupon which was minus 55 cents off them two. So then it made my total negative 55 cents. 
right? So that means I'm in the, I'm in a negative, but you know, it's, it's as if they owe me 55 cents first. But then after my taxes come off of my products, when you subtract my taxes from my my subtotal, then I still owe them 20 cents. So I, lay, I saved $11.55. This is no store discounts in this one. So I, did, I really did good on this one. <laughs> but anyway, uh, so that's the two transactions I did. I'm really happy about that because I got, what, nine items on this one. And then on my other receipt, how many items is it? Eight items. So I got 17 items for $4. Hold on. Focus. Okay. My tax was four ninety one. My tax and subtotal is four ninety one on that one. And then it was twenty cents on this one. So five dollars and eleven cents for all that stuff I showed y'all at the beginning of the video together. So I'm really happy about this. Uh, like I said, nothing wrong with you getting free stuff with a coupon as long as you the coupon qualifies for it, especially as there's nothing wrong with uh you getting overage on your stuff because you're using a coupon like you're supposed to you just so happen to have overage and they're not giving you cash back so do not try to go in there and get something that to where they owe you make sure your tax is covered okay so don't they're not supposed to give you cash back some people still do and they, that's just because they don't know but be careful on that because you don't want to get nobody in trouble and you want to be able to still go back there and not worry about them having an attitude with you right all right so thank you guys for watching if you have any questions feel free to ask thank you guys for watching this is Go! Without Sunday.